Hi friends, welcome to day 16 of Advent. Day 16 is gonna be a planner related video. You haven't seen these for a while, but here we are. I kind of sort of decided that because I'm not going to be doing weekly plan with me's anymore for planners, I don't need a separate planner channel. The planner channel was specifically to do like plan with me's because nobody wants to watch like four of those every week. But I don't like doing them. Thing I learned. So I think I'm okay with like just sporadically having some planner related videos every once in a while on the channel versus all of the planner things that I was going to put on the other planner channel because I'm not having fun with that. So I asked some questions on my community tab about things you guys want to learn about planners or things you want to know, things you want to see because originally I had intended on putting stuff on the planner channel but uh here we are. One of the main things that I got and something that is very timely is finding planners at a good price. I exclusively at this current moment in time use Happy Planner. At this current moment in time I'm not in a financial situation where I can go out and buy other types of planners just to try them out and show them to you guys so that's not something that I'm really gonna do. If I for some reason get sponsored by somebody and they want to send me a planner I would be happy to show that to you guys. I'm happy to try other brands but right now I just don't financially have the money to do that. So what you will be seeing is gonna be primarily Happy Planner things because that's what I have and that's the system that I really enjoy. So typically with like a classic size Happy Planner, they come in three sizes, they have a mini and a big, but they also have a classic. So your typical classic size Happy Planner at like Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, or on the Happy Planner website. These typically will run between 30 to $40, depending on if you're buying a full price, if you're buying right when they first release, a lot of things, extenuating circumstances. So what we're gonna talk about today is how to try out a Happy Planner for a really low price. Okay, so if you're not sure if Happy Planner is for you, now is the perfect time of year because Happy Planner does this thing where they release planners throughout the year. So they actually release a 12 month planner in June. This was one of last year's June releases. So it's a mini. Minis typically run between 25 and $35. The interesting thing about this mini is I have two of these. Uh, because I ruined this one because I thought I was going to I was using it for a reading journal and I had an idea of what I was going to use it for and how I was going to use it and turned out I didn't like what I did and it was irreversible the thing that I did you couldn't reverse what I did so I was like all right well I'm gonna need a new planner because this isn't working for me and so I started looking and I was able to get the exact same planner I mean, I've taken the discs off and it has gold discs on it now because it's a chunky baby because uh, this is my new reading planner. But this planner I paid like $25 for. This planner I paid $6 for. So let's talk about that. This gorgeous beauty that is my reading planner, I got, it's been a couple of months. This is a 12 month planner that starts in July. I think I might've said they start in June, but they start in July. So because this starts in July, you're only going, like if you're going out and buying one right now, because they still exist and they're still for sale, you're only getting six months use out of it. So they sell them pretty cheap because they're trying to get them off their shelves in order to bring in the new stock for the new year. So you can find these. I got this from Joann's locally. They still had like five or six of them left when I got this one for $6. <laughs> and you're gonna get to use six months of it. So yeah, six months of it is gonna be crap and it's gonna be paper um, that you may or may not use, but it's also really good for trying things out if you wanna try out like pen testing or try out different ways to do layouts or setups or if you wanna figure out how you wanna track things, the extra paper is great for stuff like that because you don't have to worry about ruining the paper you're gonna use. 
but I digress. You're only going to use six months of it, but it's only six dollars. So it's basically a dollar a month to figure out if you like this system. I feel like that's worth it. They will release a new 12 month planner in July and you could get that and continue on or what you could do is that in June the planners that started for 2021 are gonna be like seven or eight dollars because six months of it's already going to be gone. Is it wasteful to have a planner that you can only use six months out of at a time? Maybe. But if you're buying them late and you're only buying six months at a time and you're paying less than ten dollars for it then you're essentially getting a planner for super cheap because you're getting a year's worth for 12 15 bucks versus 40. you see what i'm saying this planner specifically is a 16 month planner and it was like 40 dollars at hobby lobby hobby lobby michaels and joann's are great about having either a 40 percent 50% or 60% off coupon of one price, one item of regular price, almost consistently. So if you have one of those three stores in your area or you can order online and they have one that they can ship to you, you're gonna be able to get a really good price on it. They also mostly will run basically a 40% discount on Happy Planner at all times anyway. It is way cheaper to order Happy Planners from Hobby Lobby, Joann's, or Michael's than it is to actually order it from the Hobby Lobby website. I'm just saying. That being said, the Happy Planner does have a larger selection of things and you don't have to worry about things selling out immediately or not having them in your area and things like that. So it, it depends on what you want. Like if you want a specific book, you're probably going to have to go on the Happy Planner website and get it. If you're okay with looking in your area, seeing what they have, seeing what works for you, then you could do that. I have a Hobby Lobby and a Joann's where I live. I don't have a Michael's anywhere near me. I can't go to Michael's, which I think is probably one of the best places to get Happy Planners from, but I don't have one of those. So I got this one at Hobby Lobby. It wasn't full price. It was 40% off. So I spent like $22 on it, but I am getting a full year out of it. So it's like two bucks a month for a planner. Um, I also actually started this one early. Um, I've been using this one since October because uh, as I said, it is a 16 month planner. I, I didn't love the planner that I had last year for my social media because this is a dashboard layout. So it's what I use for my social media planner, this style. So I went ahead and switched over to this one because it's very minimalist. And the planner that I got to use for my catch-all planner is very minimalist this year. And I didn't have to replace my reading planner because it is good through June and I don't have to replace my writing planner because it's good through the end of next year because it was a 16 month that I picked up as well. I have a lot of planners. I have a problem. It's fine. So here's the other thing that we're going to talk about. Happy planners have multiple different layouts. They have horizontals, they have verticals, they have a teacher layout, they have a dashboard layout, they have a student layout, they have a bajillion things. I am not an expert, nor can I show you all these things because I don't physically own them all. But Happy Planner does have um, a squad that they send free products to throughout the year and that way people can show you different things. So I'm gonna link some of the squad members down below so that if you wanna check out videos on like the different types of layouts, how to pick the planner that's right for you, what type of layouts there are, things that are available to you, those are definitely the people to check out because they have more of the items so they can actually show them to you. I don't have a lot of different items so I can't, I have what I can afford not more than that. I will link some people down below that have some good, really good videos on um, starting out, people that I watched when I for, was first starting out, and how I got to where I am today with my planner knowledge. Definitely check out some of those below. If you have any other questions about Happy Planner specifically, um, feel free to ask in the comment section. I will either answer to the best of my ability or send you to a person who knows the answer. Again, I, I have tried some other systems over the years, but I haven't really fell in love with one until I found Happy Planner and um, I do plan on filming a video of like going back through some of my old planners as soon as I can find them. Sure they're around here somewhere. Did I just throw them away? I don't know. Maybe. Um, but as soon as I find the old planners um, I definitely will go through and like show you guys an evolution of my planning system but for now 
this is what we got. It is day 16. We need to pull day 16 and talk about a creator. Today we get Emily Oliveri. Emily is a writing based YouTube channel. She does live sprints and one of my favorite things that she has done is Emily is a lover of Sims, like the computer game. And she has a few videos where she actually went through and built the castle of the freaking book she's writing. So I was reading Emily's book, like beta reading Emily's book, and had to stop reading it because it was because things there were things that Emily and I have discussed as far as like uh, there's a lot of similarities between our books and I didn't want there to be um, any bleed over from her ideas into my ideas because I am working on a project that is similar to the project that she's working on. Not an issue with that. I don't have an issue with books being similar because that's just how ideas work. Um, but I didn't want to read something while I was writing it. And so one of the best things about reading through the beginning of the book was that because I had watched Emily's videos of her building the castle, I could actually see it in my brain while I was reading it. Like my brain didn't have to work extra hard to picture it because it was already in there. So highly recommend you check those out. It's super cool. Um, the way that she was able to use The Sims to create the entire castle um, that she was building and just you get little snippets about her story and the characters and things while she's building because she's talking about why she's building the thing she's building. So highly recommend. Check her out down below or in the cards and uh, tell her that I said hi. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Make sure that if you don't want to miss any more of the advent videos or moving into 2021 that you hit the subscribe button down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!